So guys, this is your second film together, of course, the first being Like Crazy. How did this compare to making Like Crazy? Um, I think it was, a lot of it was finding actually a different way of working from Like Crazy, from uh, taking Like Crazy and going, okay, that was that thing, and now this is a completely new set of people and a different story, and we have to forget everything. It was more about forgetting in a weird way, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's funny. It's like the process changes with the with the players. I mean, it's 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 you know you have to adapt to the style of uh, of the actors you have, and you know Felicity was 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 still there, but everyone else was different around her, so we really had to adapt to. Uh, you know, who came in and, and, you know, Guy really changed the process as well because he's a much more uh, traditional actor, but then by the end of it, sort of completely, we lost all of that. It was, it was really, really fascinating. And how did you find it the first time you were taking on that improv process? Because also you've got a very clear outline for everything there and for all the scenes. It's very much leaving the camera rolling, isn't it, and letting you go free with it. Mm -hmm. uh, well, sorry, how did How I... did you find it the very first time you came to do that, and how did it compare this time? Um... Well, I, I was keen for the second time to be different from the first one. I um, wanted to try and find a new character and 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 to um, to kind of get a, again to get away from like crazy in in a strange way. And and it was really useful because you Drake would let. Am I allowed to say this? Say whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guy and I would watch the rushes from the end of the at the end of the day, and that was really interesting. Being able to kind of chart your character with and then speak to Drake about it and be you know I think we need to do more of this or, or more, and to be collaborative in that way is exactly how I well, like it's just so work. difficult shooting out of order when you're improvising because it's like wait a minute here you know we know exactly what the scene needs to be about and the emotional beats but at the same time you know you're going to shoot something that happens after this 10 days later and it's really important for them to be able to chart that and to be able to have an internal sort of sense about where their character is at all times. Now in the film Felicity your character gives Skye's character a piece of advice which is not to let fear become his profession. I wondered if either of you have had a particular advice you remember that you hold dear either for your own lives or for your work as you've gone along? Um, wow that's a good question. That's a good question. I think I forgot everything I've learned so <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. Sure we, uh, yeah, yeah. It's so easy to listen to advice, but then to actually employ it into your own life is so hard. I think someone, I remember someone saying to me, um, never worry, or say, say what you, I mean, always that thing like say what you feel. What is it? It's the end of King Lear. We must say what we feel, not what we ought to say, or something without sounding too pretentious, but yeah, something, it's something along those lines, like no matter what the situation is. Don't worry if you're going to lose your job, but you know, if you feel something very strongly, then say it. And of course, you were talking about getting nervous before auditions as well, because you're both musicians, Guy, and your characters as well. And I wondered how nervous do you get before auditions, and, and how nervous do you both get before a film starts rolling as well, a new project? Oh, so nervous. Yeah, yeah it's been my life yeah, being awful. nervous. <laughs> um, worst, and yeah. actually, if you're not nervous, I think there's something wrong, because you're being a little bit um, uh, uh, lazy, perhaps. I think the key is just not to care. It's like you made it you know, within a certain bubble in a, in a way, and you were feeling and thinking about those things when you made it, and it's important to sort of let that go and say, well, that's a, a piece of me from you know, a year and a half ago or two years ago, and there it is, and you move on to the next thing. But at the same time, you just kind of have to like trust your instincts at the time and let it go. And, you know, it'll work for some people and it won't for others, but you know, that's that's what's so great about the medium. Exactly, definitely. Congratulations, you won an Emmy very oh, thank recently you so much. for that. Thank um, you. I've heard that you're moving on to work with Nathan Parker, who wrote Moon. What can we expect from that? Uh, something very different. Uh, it's going to be a scripted project. Uh, there will be some improv within it, but it's going to be very sort of traditional in that sense and uh, a bigger, different sort of genre for me as well. Can we look forward to more work from you two together? Because I believe that um, Breathe In was started with an idea of, of Felicity in mind, didn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. I hope so very yeah, much. I'd yeah, I'd love to, yeah. And Felicity, of course, we know you so much for all the great indie films that you make. We're moving on to a big superhero blockbuster project with the amazing Spider-Man 2. How does it feel working on something like that? Uh, I, well, I really enjoyed it because it was so different from anything I've ever done before um, and just testing a, a different thing in you as an actor because it's the scale is just so enormous um, but I had a really good fun time. Are you looking forward to everyone seeing you as Black Cat finally? Um, well uh, possibly I don't know yeah I kind of it's um, yeah if that happens that would be wonderful yes.